Hi friends, and today topic will be about biggest DJI fail product. They have one product which is very bad. I am DJI fan, I love this brand a lot of it. This brand is, how to say, remaking our market and making products better for us and making concurrents to do better. They are, I love them, but there is one product which is, I think, bad and they are still selling it. I was writing uh, to support and let's go with my story. I wanted some small camera to record my photo shoots, my sport games with friends, my little trips, something very small and easy to carry on. I found, found DJ Action 2. And before I buy, I understand that in this small package, there will be a problem with the battery. And I bought a power combo. And there is big problems with this because it overheats. <laughs> this small camera, now it's, I have some hack with them. I will stole the whole story. And what I did, I put on record my games, my, my paddle tennis sport games, and it was not recording all game, like 15 minutes only. And, and when you came, the camera is off, you switch it on, battery is full, everything. Finally, you don't understand why it switched off if you are put it on. And when I start testing, uh, after 16 minutes, it shows overheating message and shutdowns. And I wanted to make research why it's happening. Uh, I think it's because of the size of the camera. It's small. It's heating very quickly, the sensor. And there is no way this heat going away from the camera. They gave as a gift this protection case. They was writing that it it will help you to reduce heating problems. With this case, it was working only 17 minutes. Let's put all my love DJ gadgets and let's start writing here is this camera with battery. Okay, we will put here. 16 minutes with this one 17 minutes and I was trying to search what I can do with this camera to skip these overheating problems the first what I did at home I have this SSD M2 heat sink aluminium with thermal silicon. What I did to camera, I put it here. Imagine that there is no this one hack. I put it here on the other side, like this one, put a rubber, and in that way it was able to write full till the battery dies. But this way is not so nice because the camera is big. This was for only testing purposes. But heat from the camera goes to this uh, heat sinks and reduce the camera temperature. I uh, I was able to get for fifty two. Celsius here inside the lens and I think if it goes a little bit up it show overheating and shut down then I was trying to do thinking what I can do because this is not so good solution and I found on AliExpress 
this little aluminum heat sink radiator for electronic chips. It's like two centimeters uh, wide with uh, like a glue. And I bought different sizes. One bigger, you can see it's more higher, and one small one. I put in this place, it, ah, one more problem with this one, because here is mic, you can't block it, and here is USB-C. I was trying to put it very close like this one, with this uh, blue thermal silicon pads, uh, in different ways. Yes, it was reducing the heat, but it was big bulky cameras that you can't put in a bag. I buy this uh, smallest one and put, you can see here is still the same small size and put here two of them more for total. Uh, I will put like uh, this one, then I get max. I put this four and I get 51 minutes. It was very good result, but still, still not producing the, the full potential of this little camera. And then I replaced this two small one with the biggest, I will not say the biggest, but in my opinion, the biggest and to get the small size of it, and I put it here, here you can see the mic is still open. Here is one more, I don't know for what it is. And I put four of them, no, two of big one on a camera and small one to the, to the battery. I will put it X4 and it and it was able to record one hour and 38 minutes and battery was zero. And yes, here is this little hack how to make your camera work with full potential. Yes, it's not so nice right now, but I was thinking why DJI makes this product and sell that it was not working correct. You can say you don't have firmware, you have buggy camera. I think it's the same. I write to DJI, do DJI I think I have problem guys. Your camera can't record more than 60, 70 minutes. Uh, please help me. They said, yes, you have buggy unit, send us, I send it. Uh, here is repair case information. Uh, and they send me new one. Here is a box from new one. Uh, and I was happy. Yes, right now I, I will be able to ride the full time. It can battery last. But guys, no. The new camera with new firmware, uh, new edition was doing the same. 16 minutes. <sighs> it seems DJI can't fix this problem because of design or sensor heat problems or something like that and only this hack can help you to reduce uh, if you don't have this one or this items and you need quickly solution put any metal uh, plate thing uh, try to find some old old vents, passive uh, thermal radiators, something from metal and try sticking them. There is problem, there is button, you can't stick here, this is screen. Uh, battery, 
this block is a little bit helping but the main heat is here inside you need to put it on the sides here here and if not glue then try kitchen rubber rubbers to put it in different ways and you will be able to record full speed not full speed but full time and one more uh, fail of this product i don't know why they do that but there is the this clipping contacts like this one but when i buy, buy action four and five uh, they have little different design you can see but it's very very similar but the problem is that action two are not you can't fit <clears throat> you can fit it on Osmo Action 5 or 4 contacts. You see, it's very easily. And they call it that it's universal. You can see from DJ Action 2 contacts is going with Osmo 5 and 4 very easily. But in opposite way, you can't connect it normally. I don't know why. This is some big, big fail of DJI. Not only overheating problems, but the super contacts they produce, they are not similar with all other devices. Imagine that GoPro make the famous contacts and GoPro 10 are not suitable with GoPro 11 or something like that. Okay, here is my hack. You can try different ways, but be careful of this camera alone. It's not able, and I'm recording at at home at 23 Celsius degrees. Uh, I imagine that outside, mounted to the car where it's windy, it can do a better timings, but we have a lot of um, indoor filmings with such kind of the cameras. And yes, DJI, question to you, why you did this? Why you don't fix it? After one year, you send me new camera and it has the same problems. Why are you still selling it? I don't know why they did this one. Now with this little hack, yes, I can write. I don't know, I will be able at sunny weather outside to do it, to, to do the same as indoor in my studio, but there is, big problems of overheating. Right now I ordered uh, Osmo 360 new DJI camera with 360 angle of view, like Instax 4 or 5, and I read there is the same overheating problems, maybe slightly, slightly better like this one camera. When it came I will test it and show you, do it need to make this overheating hack too. I will go into Burning Man and let's see how Insta360 will perform in desert very hot conditions. But DJI please, if you make some products please fix them, don't sell them, don't replace with the same buggy items. I love you guys, put a thumb up like, subscribe, and see you in next videos. Thank you. Point 0.6. I think at 52 it will shut down.
we have 20 51.9 i think it's very very close to our warning as a cooling system is 38 here and the battery 43 soon it will be cutting down and showing as the warning one hour and 17 minutes give more heat to the DJI camera and you see 4k 30 frames and it can handle one hour and 38 minutes. It's done.